Atlanta to go to an international flight was the easiest, most hands down easiest TSA experience I've ever had. And where I live, there is a very small airport, which is really fast, but it was a little bit more complex last time I flew in my hometown versus driving to Atlanta. I mean, there was a nice TSA agent, super easy, super fast. So it felt like I was in uh, pre-check because of that's how easy it was. Definitely recommend Atlanta Airport for this. We are just waiting a couple hours now until we can board, but I'm definitely glad that we got here early. We had to wait in line just to get our mobile boarding passes. We tried to check in 24 hours before our flight departed or departs and it wouldn't let us do mobile boarding passes so we got here five hours early we waited in line about 45 minutes until agents came up to the Turkish Airlines so just as a heads up it is good to be at least an hour earlier than you were planning to be we were planning to be here three hours before our flight departed or departs and we got here an hour earlier so just something to keep in mind it definitely worked out we got a coffee and now we're just chillaxing but honestly the more that I sit here the more I want to fall asleep y'all know I went to work today and I did do my 30 minute walk which was nice and we walked around the airport but I'm getting really tired but I want to stay awake because of all the research I've done you get your dinner meal like within the first hour of boarding the plane and flying so I'm trying to stay awake so I could get my dinner. We will see. Instructions, making sure we got all the noise reduction going. What are you excited about the most in the next coming week? Ooh, Meteora and Corfu. The waters of Corfu and the monastery is Meteora. Okay. What about you? Is it the food? <laughs> I want to try Lucamades and uh, Cafe Fredo. I think that's a ice cold frappuccino and a real Greek salad. actually pretty good. We got corn, garlicky spinach, white rice, a salad, a roll, and some fresh fruit. That spinach is my favorite. It was so flavorful, y'all. I loved it. And then the bread was really good. They gave us more than enough butter, which I really liked. They also had tea and coffee service afterwards, and mine came with cream and sugar, which was delicious. And the, the flight attendant also gave us extra bottles of water afterwards, which was very nice because I was dehydrated. I really needed that lip balm that they gave us in this little toiletry tote. So they give us um, toothpaste, toothbrush, earplugs, socks, slippers. It's really helpful when I got up throughout the night. Can you put it down? No, this is a no way.
review, we got oatmeal with berries, a fruit cup, a dinner roll, and some coffee. The dinner roll was really good. I loved having that with dinner and breakfast. I mainly ate that because the oatmeal was a little bit dry, not gonna lie. Uh, I think it just, you know, it's kind of hard to cook breakfast in an airplane, but it wasn't too bad. The fruit was good. I really liked this watermelon they gave us. kind of kept me hydrated throughout the morning. So I would give this a 6 out of 10. We made it! Out of all places I imagined my travels to be at, I never expected Turkey, but this is honestly a dream come true. Uh, we're just going to the bathroom, but I'm going to try Turkish coffee, hopefully. The flight went super well. It was very spacious. It was not a full flight at all, but now we're just going to find something to eat and then just wait till we have to fly again in about three hours. So this is the perfect time to explore this airport. It's pretty big and it's very clean and nice. Um, also, don't flush anything in the toilet. That's what I just learned. <laughs> Cheers. McDonald's. Is that bad to eat McDonald's in Turkey? <laughs> is this recording? Oh, it is.